hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a q a session a question and answer session where i'll be answering a number of questions that you guys about things that you guys want to know about me so i put out a poll on my instagram page and you guys sent in some questions yeah then i also picked out some random questions here and there that i feel like you guys might want to know about me so that's about what today's video's video will be about and let's get right into it but before we start um this is a reminder for you guys to please subscribe please 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 if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe like share do all those things that makes me happy guys okay and let's get right into it okay so this is where i'll be getting the questions from right and i'll be reading out the questions and also answering them so yeah so the first question here says what's your full name my full name is chetachuku ijoma arinzichi i have one other name but it's not necessarily a name that my parents gave to me basically the names my parents gave to me are chetachuku ijoma arinzichi but i also gave myself chelsea at a point in my life <laughs> when i was in school basically and then what chetachuku means is remember god ijoma means safe journey arinzichi for the sake of god that's just what my names are about my state of origin i'm from anambra state nigeria i'm from um the local government called Newi north why Newi? <laughs> so yeah that's where i'm from um how old am i hmm. i'm old enough to <laughs> basically i'm a baby girl so yeah but yeah long and short i'm a baby girl for life sha just put that out there where well, i'm 26 years old and yeah my birthday I was born on the 24th of April 1995 and my zodiac sign is Taurus. I believe I'm saying that right because I'm not even used to I'm not good at all this zodiac sign. Blah, 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 blah. But I believe that I'm, I mean, I'm Taurus, April 24th, 1995. Um, how many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. We're four in my house. Um, two boys, two girls. Uh, I'm the last born baby of the house. <laughs> um it says what are your hobbies and what you do for fun basically right now i won't even lie i don't i'm not really like what i do for fun right now okay so right now what i do for fun is i watch youtube videos see i i hate tv don't give me series don't give me a film don't give me anything just let me go on my youtube and like scroll through my feed i just like watching youtube videos and then also i love working out like i enjoy working out i literally work out five times a week and i enjoy it. it's something i enjoy i i actually love doing and also for health reasons i think you'll like say like okay oh, yeah i'm not really an outgoing person although yeah but then i i go out quite often and some people will say i'm the life of the party but trust me i would rather be in my house with all of my comforts than go out yeah um what again what again what again what again what am i missing out so i like enjoyment i'm not even lie. i like enjoyment like i like living my best life so i like doing things like um going to the spa um going to like maybe hang out chill out not all the time though going to chill out take a drink going for lunch dinner dates basically just going exploring new things basically i'm an explorer that's just what i enjoy doing okay it says what's your day job so right now i'm, I'm a quality assurance analyst i work with a software company here in abuja nigeria and yeah basically software testing and all of those things that has to do with it yeah so are you in a relationship Hmm. <laughs> who wants to know this <laughs> anyways am i in a relationship now see i'm sorry but i'm of that weird school of thoughts where see you are not in a relationship until you are married because relationships can be broken okay so right now i'm just i'm not i'm not married so you know that news you guys know what that is but yeah i yeah that answers it <laughs> that answers it so i'm not married i don't have a ring on me and that implies that i'm not taking yet i'm only taking when i get married okay um your ideal man oh well my ideal man we will ask this question but okay so my ideal man i think i like a man that is most importantly caring loving god-fearing you're a giver i hate stinginess you're a giver you are fun to basically you're not you're fun to hang around because like i said i'm an indoor kind of person so i'd love someone that is fun to be in the house with not someone that just makes ugh, 
yeah basically so just not nothing so intense someone caring someone loving someone because someone willing to to understand me because i'm a handful right and yeah someone that's just a giver a lover of god you know now those honest you're not a liar you're not a chief <laughs> you know all these things now bro like you guys already know this it says what's my biggest fear oh, what's my biggest fear i think i picked out this question this particular question rather uh, my biggest fear is losing someone actually i've lost my mom before i lost my mom in 2016 that's about almost five years now and yeah my biggest fear is losing another person a family member a loved one a friend like because i know i went through a, a really tough time back then and it's something i don't want to believe to be honest um he says what's my pet peeve what's my pet peeve what's my pet peeve ah uh, I, do, I don't like sneaky people i don't like two-faced people i don't like two tiny people i don't like liars i don't like people that try to like that are trying to meet up to a certain expectation so like you're trying to live your life a certain kind of way so like you can perceive a certain kind of way basically pretenders and the list, the list is endless see so let's not just go into it but yeah these are a few of my pet peeves yeah uh, but i'll say like i said I, I don't like these honest people people that backstab i think that would be my top most people that are like you trust and then they just like stab you at the back that's my top most one what's your religion i'm a christian i'm a child of god i'm a baby girl for god i'm a baby girl for christ <laughs> i'm a girl with a big god <laughs> it's endless basically so yeah i'm a christian and right now um i'm a pentecostal that's my denomination i'm a pentecostal and i worship in a in chapel of grace and i'm of living faith foundation um yeah that's it not living faith though living faith foundation not like i have anything against living faith though so he said if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be if i could change one thing about myself i think I think my temperament, I could get really, really pissed up and in the heat of the moment I could say certain things. So I think my temperament, which is something I'm actually working on to change, but I think that's something that really bothers me sometimes. Whenever I'm upset, I say certain things and sometimes you can't take them back. You've said it, you've said it. So I think that would be one of my, um, one thing that I would like to change about myself, my temperament basically. I like to be more subtle, tone down my anger level, things like that. Basically, not like I'm like an extreme angry person, but like whenever I'm pissed off, like at something that you really do, which is not always so often, I tend to react a certain way that sometimes I go back and I'm like, why did I do that? You get? It says, um, have you ever had a nickname? Definitely, <laughs> I've had a nickname. In fact, I've had nicknames from different people right now the one that is the nickname that is like my major nickname right now from a lot of my colleagues and friends is chet c-h-e-t-s right that's what people call me right now most of the time chet 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 or some of my weird colleagues who call me they say <laughs> mama they go do this thing that kind of thing but it's not like it's my nickname shabo so yeah chet and then chelsea Licious. that's it even the my instagram the name of my instagram page chelsea Licious, and you see it on the screen at the top right or left corner whatever yeah but that was my nickname in school and it's something i've carried on and it was gotten from my name chelsea like i said i gave myself chelsea in school and then i was like oh it i give myself a nickname i'm like just put shirts behind it and that's how the origin of that name came about it says what is the best gift you have ever received you have been given okay so the best gift i've ever received i think it's um so there was this um boss of mine then is it is the best gift because at that moment it was really really needed so there was this colleague of mine then that i just joined i like i've told this story before and like i've mentioned this in a story before in a story time before so i just joined i yeah and my birthday came up so i was new like i literally joined i in like maybe say second week of april and my birthday was 24th of april like the, four, the last week or even third week and then my boss has had then gave me like 15k like i didn't plan it and that was my 20th birthday or yeah 20th or 19th birthday 20th birthday or 19th birthday so i remember the, my bosses are then gave me 15k like i didn't even plan celebrating it because my mom will never celebrate anything for you and my dad is just like uh so i didn't plan celebrating anything yeah but then 
um he gave me that money i remember going with my sister to go and purchase a cake like he made my day and the fact that the next day he still took me out so i think it was just the the it was not about even the gifts it was just the the vibe and then the fact that i wasn't planning anything i had nothing and somebody gave me 15k someone that barely knew me all those things just made made it amazing then it says what is your what is the worst gift you have received to be honest i don't have any like i can't remember any experience of having any worst gifts like any gifts i receive i really really appreciate them be it food whatever i appreciate them so i've not really had like a worst gift scenario no 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 it says aside from necessities which what one thing could you not go a day without okay so necessities food water what again could we call necessity I think I can, but I wouldn't want to go a day without my phone because I use it for my work. I use it for for like stuff. So I think my phone, my phone, my phone actually. That's the only thing right now. It says the last question here says, "What is your frequently used emoji?" Frequent, I have a number of them. So prayer hands, hearts, that's love, um, heart eyes, then this cute smiley, like. A number of them shall but my favorite use would just be oh the laughter emoji i forgot that but a number of them shall basically so yeah and that's about it that brings us to the end of this question session we've actually taken a, a, a bit of a time so that brings us to the end of this question and answer session now if you enjoyed this video let me know so i make a part two i can ask more questions and then you can also even drop in the comment section drop more questions that you like to know about me anything that you like to know about me just drop it in the comment section and yeah that's it I believe that brings us to the end of this video. As usual, please subscribe, like, share, do all the needful, help your baby girl, okay? <laughs> and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Take care.